Welcome to the Car Wash 101 series brought to you by Ryko. This segment is an introduction to the Soft Gloss Max 5 Brush Error Codes. Before we get started, here's a special message on safety. As you work around a car wash, always keep safety in mind. A car wash is a very powerful machine that uses water, electricity, and chemicals. Stay clear of the machine while it's running and read product labels following all safety procedures and wearing proper personal protective equipment. Remember that the floors in and around the car wash may be extremely slippery and be sure to look out for moving vehicles in the area. Stay safe. It's a good idea to learn what a normal functioning car wash looks and sounds like. As you see and hear the car wash running in your daily activities, you might be able to notice when the car wash is not working properly. The control system or the HMI touchscreen will give you status and error codes to help you identify why the machine is not working. There are basically two versions of the HMI touchscreen, the older two color version and the newer full color version called Wash Builder. Wash Builder was created to make it easier for the owner of the car wash to customize their wash packages. Going forward in this video, we will focus on the look of the older HMI version to keep it simple, but the same theory applies to the newer Wash Builder screen. If you happen to have the older control box version that does not have an HMI, just operate the switches as needed to drive the machine. When the error code is blank and it says no problem seen, that means that the machine is ready. If the HMI control screen is black, then touch it to activate the screen. If there is no power to the machine, first check the main power circuit breakers for the building. If equipped, check the car wash activation or code wash program for any error messages. Then check the power switch on the machine's electrical panel to see if the power switch is in the vertical on position. The electrical panel is on board the machine. While standing under the gantry, go to the right hand covers, pull on the flexible latch to the right. For safety, the doors are held in place by a section on the cover above. Just push up on this cover to release the doors. If the covers for your machine have LED lights on them, what you can do to access the electrical panel is unscrew the covers at the top to release the doors. Here we see code 04, circuit protector tripped. Go to the machine's electrical panel, turn off the power switch and open the panel latches that are located on the right side. Caution, be safe while in this panel. There is high voltage that can cause serious injury. Never open a panel when standing in water and it is recommended that you place one hand in your pocket while the other hand is turning the circuit protector switch. Make sure to avoid touching bare wire. If you are not comfortable doing this task, call for service. To identify a tripped overload, you will see a switch in a 45 degree slanted position. Reset the circuit by turning the switch to off and then back on. They should all be going in the same direction now. There is also another style of circuit that has white buttons that will pop out when they are tripped. To reset these, just push them in for a few seconds to see if they stay in. If the circuits continue to trip, call for service. Close the cover and relatch the top and bottom latches to make sure it's watertight. Then turn on the power switch and see if the error code is cleared on the HMI. Here we see code 27, top brush down. If you go into the wash bay and you see that the top brush is down, this could mean that the structure of the top brush has been damaged or there is an air leak or low air pressure. First check to see that the top brush moves easily and look for damage to the structure. Check the power supply to the main air compressor which is usually located in another area of the building. When air pressure is restored to the top brush, it will rise up into its normal position automatically. If you hear an air leak or a hissing sound or cannot resolve the problem, call for service. Some wash bays may be equipped with a water reclaim system that recycles the used water so that it can be reused during the wash passes. This is what a reclaim machine looks like. You may also see water being recirculated onto the bay floor to be recollected in the floor drain. This will help oxygenate the reclaimed water to reduce bacteria and odor. However, this is not a water leak. Some machines are also equipped with ozone and oxygen machines to help lower reclaim odor. 
Here we see code 30, reclaim turned off. Go to the reclaim unit and open the access panel if there is a cover in place and look for the off reclaim switch. If the switch is in the vertical off position, just turn it to 45 degrees to the right until it clicks and that is the on position. It may take a few minutes for it to activate and for you to see water to start to recirculate. Here we see code 31, reclaim prime failed. Go to the reclaim unit and look for the off reclaim switch. When reclaim fails, it may still be in the on position which is tilted to the right 45 degrees. If so, then turn it off and then wait a few seconds and turn it back on. It will attempt to prime five times. If the problem persists, call for service. Here we see code 33, machine not at home. The gantry is not in its correct home position at the front of the tracks. You will need to manually drive it back to its home position. On the HMI touchscreen, close the wash and press the login button. Press password keypad. Push the numbers for your site's password and push enter. Then push the verify password button. Once verified, push site screen and then manual drive. For the newer Wash Builder HMI to log in, you would press the site button, then the gray box with the asterisk to get to a keypad to enter your code and press enter. Then you could press the site button on the left and then you can see all of the manual buttons to drive the machine. To move the machine, you need to push the touchscreen controls with your finger and hold it down. When you lift up, it will stop. So you need to hold it down to keep it moving. Drive the gantry all the way forward on the track until it stops at the end. When it's at the correct position, all you have to do on the HMI is push the back button on the touch screen several times to get back to the main screen. Check to see if the error code has been cleared. Now reopen the wash. Here we see code 40, machine is closed. Look to see if it shows closed or open on the touchscreen. If closed, then push to change to open. If it's still showing error code 40, then pull on the emergency stop button to make sure it hasn't been pushed in. When the error code is blank and it says no problem seen, the machine is ready. Here's one final tip. It's a good practice to run the car wash after resolving a problem and watching it to make sure that it's working properly. If a problem persists, call for service. From all of us here at RICO, thank you for watching.